In today's video, we're going over some of the best controller settings you guys can use in Modern Warfare 2. These settings give you guys a really good balance between aim and accuracy and also movement. We're going to be touching up on a lot of settings topics on the channel. So if you guys do enjoy today's video and learn something new, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And comment down what's your favorite response curve type to use in Modern Warfare 2. Starting things off in the controller layout, I have my button layout set to default. I personally play claw. You guys can use whatever you want. This is all personal preference, but I am a claw player. So I just leave this on default with my flip on. For those don't know playing flipped means that you shoot with your r1 and l1 buttons instead of your l2 and r2 uh, which is just easier for more reaction time and speed i have my stick layout preset on default as well like i said i don't really mess around with the button layouts or stick layouts controller vibration is also personal preference thing i don't like it on because it kind of makes me distracted but you guys can use it if you want my sensitivity is 13 13 with 1.25 ads this is really good for a balance of aim as well as movement you can be able to you know look around really fast eagle chow really easily while still having a a really good shot i also don't really mess around with these sensitivity multipliers but if 1.25 ads feels a little too fast you guys can try you know 0.95 or 0.85 to try to slow things down now my ads behavior set to hold i don't use toggle that's kind of weird for me in the automatic sprint area i have this set to automatic tactical sprint the reason why is because when you press forward on your controller it will automatically put you into a tactical sprint versus having to press down on your left and lock stick which makes it really easy for you know certain movement mechanics weapon mount activation is actually the ADS melee that's the same one I actually use in warzone and the interact and reload behavior is also the same one from warzone which is prioritized interact they did change the name on it but it is the same thing in warzone one it was called contextual tap armor play behavior I have on apply all you know we don't actually have armor in the game right now but when warzone 2 comes out I would imagine I want to use apply all just like in warzone 1 as well obviously we have aim assist on we also have my aim assist type on default you can choose between uh three of the choices but that's just the one I like to use the most my response curve is dynamic uh that's the one I use the most right now linear is also really really good but I like dynamic the most I'll sort of scroll through the movement behaviors they're not really that important but I do recommend having grounded mantle off and automatic ground mantle off as well and make sure you guys also remove automatic parachute auto deploy this will make it to where you know when you actually do play warzone 2 or if you're deploying an invasion or ground war you won't pull the shoot really really early and end up getting like exposed for a long time so you guys can pull the shoot really really late land very very fast and have a lower chance of you getting shot out the sky these right here are the best settings they have a great balance of movement and aim and these are the exact settings i'm going to be using in warzone 2 once it releases but that's all i have for today's video in the future i'll be making a lot more settings and movement videos so make sure you guys stay tuned into the channel and with it being said i'll see you guys in the next one peace love and understanding always
Enemy counter UAV is active. UAV ready for tasking. Copy. Hostile cruise missile launch. Mission accomplished.